Hi everyone, today's video is about prison symbol. In this kind of prison symbol, we don't have is, are, and am. Let's see how we can use it. We can use prison symbol to talk about habits and things that we do regularly. For example, I go to school every day, so it's like a routine. Every day you do the same thing. Uh, I eat breakfast at 7 uh, o'clock every day. Number two, facts and things that are always true and it can't be changed. For example, babies eat, sleep and cry. It is not changed. They are always like this. Number three, opinions. Opinions, for example, I don't like cats. I don't like uh, pizza. I don't like something. Uh, for example, your opinion, your feeling. What do you feel? What do you think about something? And present simple positive. Let's see how uh, it is used and what's the rule. Present simple positive, we don't have, uh, as we said before, we don't have is, are, and am. We have it present simple for singular, for he, she, it, and present simple for plural, I, we, you, they. For singular he, she, it, the verb must take s. Without S, it would be wrong. And then we have complement. For example, she plays chess. He eats breakfast. It flies high. With she, we have plays. We cannot say she plays chess. We have to say she plays chess. We have to add S to the verb. Uh, for example, he eats breakfast. He eats breakfast every day. With he, we have eats. We cannot say he eats breakfast. We have to say he eats breakfast. Eat, uh, we have to add s to it. It becomes eats. For I, we, you, they, uh, we have to delete the s. So the verb will not remain. Uh, in the same way, in this way, we have to delete the is because it's plural. It's not he, she, it. It's I for myself, then we, you, they. It's for more than one person. So that's why we have to delete the s. And we cannot add s to the verb. For example, I walk to school every day. We eat lunch at 11.45. You sleep at 9 o'clock. They get up early. With this uh, kind of verb, when we have I, we, you, they, we have walk, eat, sleep, get up. We, we didn't say walks, it's wrong, eats, it's wrong, sleeps, because it's, uh, the, the subject is plural, so that's why we cannot have S with the verb. This was positive, in positive form, it means that we don't have not. Uh, for example, we have she cries. We didn't say she cry. We said she cries. She cries. We have S with the verb because we have she. Then we say he goes to school. He goes to school. We didn't say he go to school because we have to add, a, add S to the verb because of the he. Then we come to the negative form of present simple. In negative form of present simple, we make it negative by using don't and doesn't. So uh, we have to do something in order to make it negative. We have to add doesn't, then we have to add don't. So for he, she, it, we add doesn't to make the sentence negative. For I, we, you, they, we add don't to make it negative. For example, we have the sentence, she play chess, and maybe she doesn't like chess, so we have to make it negative, she doesn't play chess. For example, as we said, um, I walk to school every day. How we make this sentence negative? Because we have I, we have to add a don't. I don't walk to school every day. So for I, we, you, they, we have to add a don't to the sentence. We have doesn't. He doesn't drive, he's riding a bike. Then we have spelling rules of S. Spelling rules of S is very important in this topic because um, when we add S to the verb, uh, the verb sometimes will be changed. So let's see what will happen to the verb when we add S. We have some rules. Number one, most verbs. Most of the verbs, they take S easily. For example, play, plays, get, gets, without a uh, nothing and uh, changing anything nothing will be changed to the verb number two verbs ending with a consonant plus y when we have y at the end of the verb and before y we have 
uh, consonant. Uh, so consonant is, uh, it means that we don't have vowel. Vowel is a I, O, U, E, five letters. Uh, five letters are vowel. When we don't have these vowels, it means all of the other letters are consonant. So we have Y at the end of the word. Then before the Y, we have consonant. We will change Y to the I. Then we will add uh, E as study, studies, baby, babies. Number three, verbs ending with S, CH, SH, X, O, Z. This sounds, when we add these sounds at the end of the words, we have to add ES, watch, words, box, boxes, glass, glasses. Why we added ES? Because of these sounds, CH, SH, X, O, Z, S. Then we have number four, irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, it means that those verbs are not going with the rule. We have have, have. Can, can, be, be. We will not change anything. We will not even add S to it. The note in here is that we have to look at the spelling of the verbs when the pronoun is singular. He, she, it. When we have he, she, it in the sentence, at that time we have to look at the spelling rules of the S. Because at that time we will add S to the verb. Uh, as in here, for example, we have toy. In toy, we say toy, toys when we add S. Why we didn't change the Y? Because before the Y, we have vowel. So the Y will not be changed to I and ES. For example, in cherry. In cherry, we have what? We have before Y, R. And R is consonant. So that's why we will change Y to the I. Then we will add. In this topic, in present simple question form, we have do and does at the beginning of the sentence. In order to make it question, we have to move do and does at the beginning of the sentence. In here, we have do, then plus I, we, you, they, then plus verb and without any S. Then we have complete and question mark. Do we like coffee? Do you have any pets? Yes, I do. No, I don't. In here, for example, we like coffee. We like coffee is a normal sentence. How we make it question? How we can add, ask a, a question? Do we like coffee? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Then we have does. Does with he, she, it, and the verb will not take any s, and we have complement and question mark. As we said in these two sentences, for singular and for plural, do and does must come at the beginning of the sentence, and then we have to add a question mark. Does she study at home? Does he live in America? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. So, uh, does she study at home? When I say she studies at home, she studies at home is a normal sentence. How we make it question? We have to add does. When we add does and don't, uh, does and do uh, to the sentence, uh, the S will not stay anymore. So we, ha we will change studies to study. Does she study at home? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. As in here, we have do I take a photo? Does he take a photo? Uh, for do, uh, we will. It will be used with I, we, you, they, and does it will be used with he, she, it. And then uh, it's unit six, uh, and this grammar is in unit six, the present simple, and um, uh, homework for both groups for Sunday. It's this exercise. This exercise in page thirty one. Uh, how we can answer these questions? We have to look at the spelling rules of these verbs. For example, sees. Is it correct? Yes, it is correct. For example, number three, wash. Is it correct? No. We have to add es because we have sh, uh, sh sound at the end of the 